Okay, let's see how the siegers and the tribes people inter- Great, so they're gonna fight each other off. And we're getting sieged. It's... How many? Can I just do some multiplication? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's about nine by nine. It's about. I would say that's about 70, 65 or seventy colonists sieging us. Okay, um, haven't had one of these yet, so I think I'm just going to draft everybody because there's no there's no wildlife to protect us, and we can't really stay in our base that we don't even have the IEDs up yet we were in the midst of making IEDs but that's not gonna happen anymore it's looking like so let's draft everybody let's keep them on the other side of this fence so that if any enemies do come in then they're fighting a limited number of enemies we're gonna go over here with these now what do they have just a lot of steel Oh, they all have shield- oh, that is great, they all have shield belts. Fantastic, okay, um, hmm. Okay, everybody just go over to this side. Let me make sure Bob Ross you come in too. Some people still aren't- okay, we'll leave the infirmary. Oh no, that guy had fallen- alright, well, we don't want to, like, leave him there. You go out here too? Builder too? Come on out. All right, every but we're emptying Mordor right now. Artist one, you go there. Why are they heading over in that? To Maybe they're gonna siege me from over there. Don't know, but that's a lot of sieging. Um, okay, you practice martial art. In fact, you know what? You guard the base, Gordon Ramsay, and uh, who is this? Holler nine. Everybody else is headed out there now. Is anybody else left out in the fields? Nope, that's everybody, I think. Okay. <laughs> Most of them have bows. A good number of them have, uh... Well, whatchamacallit, better bows. Practicing martial arts. Okay, you do that. You two stay in here. I have no... I don't really even know what to do with these guys. Are these guys gonna be okay if they just stay here? Yeah, they'll be okay, so then you two go out in the fields with everybody else, just for the sake of having everybody in the same place. Okay, they're going to start sieging me from way over yonder. Let's see if they manage to do this. Um... Everybody... Well, we don't really stand a chance, because they have guns, and we still are stuck with, like, recurve bows... ...and short bows. I don't know, maybe there's a way that I could haul, that I could... Another, a second raid! A group of tribes people have arrived nearby. Okay, so then maybe the tribes people and the siegers will fight each... No, that probably doesn't. And they are mining through to get to us. Okay, well, you know what? At this point, I'm just gonna say everybody back inside because, like, shit's gonna happen somehow. And also, the tribes people raiding are probably gonna trap or step over all the traps. Everybody, no, don't stay out there. Let's all get back in the house. Everybody back in the house. Okay, let's see how the siegers and the tribes people inter- Great, so they're gonna fight each other off. So the siegers are now attacking the tribes people who are all fleeing through a gulch. And this is interesting. Okay, so then they should meet back up with them. Now, I don't know whether I should do this battle of- of five army- and we are being sieged in our- okay, we have to get out of here. Um, yeah, this is not going to be safe. I think- I've gotta, like, decide what's going to happen here. So I'm thinking that the siegers will just keep mortaring us in our kitchen, which probably won't be safe. I don't think that the tribes people are gonna win this one. So let me send everybody back out into the field as soon as we just fix this fire. Okay, let's also redraft everybody to go back out into the field, except for those who are about to die. Who got hit with a mortar blast? Okay, you'd better go back to bed. Um, now WebMD is gonna go there. Cleaner9, what happened to you? He also got burned by the mortar, so we're gonna rest him until healed. Now normally... 
and we have a Mega Sloth taking root. Well, that's no surprise when we have the battle of five armies outside. Uh, they're gonna continue to mortar us. So let the game is. Jesus Christ, this is really slowed up the computer. Okay, let's uh, get everybody out. We're gonna lose some lives. I'm just gonna accept that right now. Farmer one. Did you get hit? He's just been bruised with, by being beaten with an LMG, so that's not so bad, but... Hauler 10, you get in on this bullshit. The other haulers and the cook. Hmm. Alright, let's see. These guys are gonna go out into the field. The artist... You know what? Just everybody, I'm not gonna micro at this point. Oh, did they- they did not take out the mortar. Unfortunately, the tribes people did not do that. Now, I don't want to waste any more lives... ...on this, but the tribes people are so distracted. They're being shot and they're not doing anything about it. Let's... I don't know, should we flee down here? It's just that the tribes people... No, you know what? Something tells me get- get away from all this bullshit. Don't worry about Echidna over there. No, don't- don't even worry about that. Don't worry about that. I'd worry more about the siege, man. Let them all fight each other outside our base. Now, they should go into the traps if I put a few bait colonists over here. So, let's see- okay, we're gonna- we lost one. That's actually quite fine, because now they're all- are they all going for the, If I put them far enough away, maybe they'll think that it's- disincentivized to go get those other colonists. It looks like the raid was not successful. But now all the raiders are following up the tribes people, so hopefully they'll get into another small war over there. While we all wait patiently over here, we could take a caravan to our other colony, but now they're getting back into a fight. They've decided to kidnap who they can and leave. Well, that's wonderful. Okay, we're gonna lose the power. That I've pretty much just accepted at this point. Okay, they're gonna go crazy out here in the fields, but let's just see if we can avoid the fight entirely. Now, I'm not betting on the, uh, tribes people here. But they're gonna retreat, and now I'm just hoping that the raid- Can we somehow finagle the raiders into stepping on this IED over here? We could in- We could feasibly send cut Smith- no, Smith 3 is pretty good. Well, you know what, he's- he's getting... He's getting the shit into the stick today. He's gonna run past the IED to see if he can take out a few more of them. Meanwhile, these tribes people are gonna get fucked up, which will train- train- uh, excuse me, train our shooting skill. Let's bring those people over there. Now, I want to minimize the amount of friendly fire, so I'm gonna have to thin out their- No, that's not the number of you I wanted over there. Let's thin out our lines over here. Great, okay, Boomalope Revenge. Where could that be lo- Okay, that's not so great. But it is fighting the tribes pe Cargo pod's not really first thing on my mind. Pemmican? Oh, well, this is in the entirely other different part of the map. Okay, let's see what the siegers do. Fortunately, they stopped mortaring me. Smith 3 is down. That kind of blows. Fortunately, this is training up our shooting skill. We should really thin out this line even more. Can we get... I just don't want people to get hit with that LMG. Let's just line up like this. Now you guys come over here. It's like choreography or something. Okay. And they are good. They are going into the trap. So hopefully they'll fuck themselves up enough over here. And there's really nobody valuable left in the colony... ...for them to kill. Cutter 1 is standing here. <laughs> Suckers! A ball and you better get out of the way. Hmm. Let me see. I'm gonna put them over there. And now, hopefully, they'll just fuck themselves up enough on this bullshit that they'll all start to retreat. It could trigger a retreat. Cook 2, you're dead. I'm, I can't do much about that. Takumi tanking it like the man. All right, well, we are gonna get assault rifles out of this if it does work out. Unfortunately, we couldn't get them to um, go over the IED. Now, I'm just thinking, is there any other way that we could... 
Is Crafter- where is Crafter 3? He's the one who can make IEDs. Okay, he's over here. So we're not getting back any more IEDs. What I'm thinking at this point is that we're better off meeting them back outside of the base. So that when they turn back after they've hit all of our traps... Well, that's gonna happen. Alright, Cleaner 4, you have a great day now. Um... Artist, we might be able to save him. Probably not. I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say probably not. Because he's lost a limb. Alright, and let's make this medical. Cutter, can you rescue him? Okay, he's gonna bring him to that one. Okay, we got Artist 1 safe, now let's worry about everybody else. They are fleeing! Great! Okay, so then we don't have to worry about any of that. Let's line up, I don't want, I want to minimize the friendly fire this time as they're here. So, I'm going to line everybody up, like, in groups of two and three up here. Because they aren't even really going to have to do anything. In fact... Well, we do want to kill some of them, because we can get their weaponry. You know, we're just not going to have as many colonists now. But I'm kind of alright with that, because, in gen- Uh, good, the LMG's in the front. I don't want it to shoot everybody again. Let's put that over there. You go there. You go there. On top of that spike trap, which is probably safer. You go there. Ah, not- not loving it. Not loving it. Let's go there with you. Death Cook too. Ah, uh, well, he was he was goner anyway. Where is that LMG firing from that killed so many people before? Okay, we do have him lined up by four. We want to bring him back. You go back. You go back. This should minimize the amount of friendly fire by far. Though at this point, honestly. They'll probably step on enough traps that it's not even going to be worth it at this point. Let's undraft everybody and just have them tend to the dead and dying. Alright, we're going to try to save as many as we can, but we've got only... Keep in mind, we've got only, well, zero medicine left. That is not great. Um, but we should be able to save a few of them. Okay, about 20 colonists have gone for smoke leaf joints, so I'm really glad that I invested in this, because otherwise we would be experiencing 20 mental breaks right now. Uh, I'm gonna order them to strip whatever they can, and just take a lot of the firearms, because there's some really ridiculously good stuff around here. But I'm also like, I... Mainly we just need to focus on the ones who are down. There's really not that many downed right now. Builder 2 might be a goner. Because nobody else is out here and I forgot. Well, he's also not in any danger of death. But who else is down? We lost one cook? We lost like three people in that. There was a raid and then another raid. That was actually the best possible outcome because we would have died. I don't think that the tribes people would have killed us. But let's also strip Octopus. If somebody gets to I, he's not really a high priority though. Kirby R. Strip him. We might, you know, some of you guys have said to strip the dead bodies too because they were like, even if they're completely dead, you could sell the traitors, which I do kind of see. At this point, um, that was awesome, and it's great also that they have Molotov cocktails so then we can burn these bodies without having to put everybody into an incinerator. Uh, yeah, <laughs> let's just gather up everything. This is going to be a lot of micromanaging here, so let me just take a quick overview. Yeah, honestly, I'm surprised that there's not more of our people who are fucked up. Let's just see their injuries. Gunshot, machine pistols, some of these are probably going to get infected. So we might have a few more deaths after this from the burns, from the mortars, but... I'd say we did better than I expected. I expected us to be completely dead. Okay, we got to save Smith 3 if possible, though. Let's see if we can save him. It was a mistake to send him out, but as long as Crafter 2 is still alive, he's really the only one who's valuable. His skills are just way higher than any of the others. He got a bruise from a revolver and stabbed by a recurve bow. Okay, we're gonna be alright through this. We're gonna be alright.
Okay, at this point, without going into too much depth, I've assigned everybody to the work of to the work of doctoring, but only as a fourth priority. Our doctors should be doing it before they do anything else. So even before they take care of themselves, I think Doctor House is the only one who got he got stabbed by a recurve bow. So we're gonna want to keep an eye on that. Uh, we don't want to lose our doctors, but we got a medical emergency here. You'll actually be okay, Artist One. I'm s okay. That move in the field was good. Let's see if we can get Cutter Three to save Builder Two as well, since he's out here. We'll just put down another sleeping spot, and then hopefully save him. Smith Three gave his life trying to run them over an IED, and it didn't work. I just feel bad about that. He's gonna die in a ah. Uh, he's gonna die in a half hour. He's definitely dead. Just anybody who's nearby, if they can help. Anybody who's nearby, he's... this guy's dead. Yeah, he got shot by the raiders. You gave your life for good. Alright, at this point, um... I think we lost how many colonists in that raid? I'd say like four? It's a good thing we had all that smoke leaf. Now we got a disease and infection on Cook 3. Uh... Let's see, and a... Okay, that was Smith 3, we were expecting that. Minor infection here. We want to put him in the hospital, though. So let's take away people from here who don't need these hospital beds who aren't in danger of getting an infection. Burn, I think, is in danger. These are cuts. Those are in danger of infection. This guy doesn't need his bed. Cook 3, you take... Who is that? Farmer 1? Yeah, take Farmer 1's bed. Okay. Farmer 1, you get the hell out of here. Everybody else back to your jobs. Seven colonists idle. We're going to give everybody else the job of hauling at this point. Because we want all these dead bodies out of here. Um. And we want to get them out of here fast. Because then we're going to have twice as many break risks. I'm honestly not even worried about converting the raiders. Because I know they're just going to be so screwed up. Until we really get our shit together. I'm not going to try to do that. Um. Days on Cook 3. And then at this point, <laughs> let's just clear out the entrance of the dead bodies. Because I don't want to have to deal with the massive number of mental breaks that they're going to experience afterward. This is going to be insane. Look at all these weapons. We're going to be able to trade these for a lot. And we should keep track of what happens to the Molotov cocktails. Because those things are going to be really OP. Like, we, we can use those to burn all the bodies in one go. Alright, let's just uh, pick up some of this mess and see if we can prevent those massive infections from spreading. Okay, we're setting up an important priority room over here for corpses so that we can, like, burn all of the bodies in one area at one time. Uh, other than that, I'm just gonna check out the last few of these guys. You got burned by a mortar, but you should be fine. Gunshot. I'm worried because a lot of them got minor wounds that have dangers of infection. So that probably means, since we're still at plant 7 and we can't have any medicine yet for, like, a little bit of a longer time, we're probably going to lose a few more colonists. But what are we down to right now? I'm just going to quickly count up who's left. Okay, we're down to 90. So that's great, I guess. But at this point, <laughs> we're going to want to bring that number up. Um... Let me just see. Now that Cutter... Now that you've saved Artist 1, Artist 1 is not in danger of... Is anybody over here in danger of their life? Okay, I'm gonna get rid of these. Deconstruct these. Cutter 3, you rescue Artist 1. And then let's also... or Well, we'll give him a new area. And then work on everybody else. Unrestricted area, too. Okay, I'm not going to put a lot of chips into this, but I'm going to start capturing the enemies that we bring in. I don't have a prison yet, but I'm going to need to make one, and we got an infection now. Uh, I, I don't really know what to do. We could just, uh, we could tend to it as soon as possible, but there's not much else that we can do. Is that, okay, that is doctor too, so it's a real doctor. Extreme breakers time seven, medical emergency on ginger. Well, that's, we know that's going to happen. We'll see if we can save a couple of these guys. Do we have doc do we have WebMD in here? He's our finest doctor. Okay, he's asleep because we got onto the night shift, so let's just prioritize him on tending to ginger ginger if we can. We'll probably lose a lot of these prisoners. Ah, oh, man, he got a friggin' infection too. And we got advanced fabrication. That's great. I'm gonna give that a moment though. 
Uh, you should not be sleeping there. You should rest until healed there. Stream break. <laughs> Medical emergency. This is still gonna happen to Ginger. We're probably gonna lose most of these guys, but maybe we'll be able to keep one. And then in the future, we'll be able to keep more than one. We're gonna need a real doctor to tend to Cody, too. So I'm just gonna wake up my doctors. They're gonna have to run... Yeah, my doctors are not gonna be doing so well right here. Basically, they get completely overworked around, uh... Around the battle season. Other than that, though, everybody else should start hauling these corpses off into our new zone. We might be down to, like, 85, 80 colonists by the end of this. But at this point, we'll be so armed up. Yeah. Just keep on checking on them. Well, surprisingly few beds that are filled. I guess, you know, they could have... They probably could have avoided more combat, to be fair. I think I panicked when I saw two. One thing that I tend to do here is that... <laughs> When there's, like, anything unpredictable, I've never seen two raids come in together. Like, I thought it was over with one, but then there was hope. And at this point... Oh, God, there's just so many items here. Oh, good, more Molotov tech... Ah, great, okay. I'm gonna give these to somebody I'm gonna remember it with. Uh, far... Armor is gonna have the Molotov cocktails. I will be able to remember that. Okay, Dr. House is going on a smoke leaf binge. We need to stop him because he is a doctor. He's not a Dr. Kevorkian. We, <laughs> we just need to st We just straight up need to stop that. Thank God that we got more into the smoke leaf crafting, though. Because otherwise we would have been... Okay, great. We might actually be able to save Ginger. Now, what are Ginger's traits? Annoying, slow... <laughs> very neurotic. This is the worst colonist ever, but is very good with animals, so would be very useful. Creepy breathing underground. Wow, we get the worst possible traits from our colonists. Great, you brought down Dr. House. Rescue Dr. House. Oh, God. I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm probably just going to micro my way. I'm probably going to... Nah, not micro my way. I'm probably going to speed my way through a lot of this cleanup, unless if anything significant happens, because personally, I find it a little bit tedious and boring, but we've got a shit ton of stuff to deal with, and I know if I don't deal with this on my own, I will fuck up a lot more of it than I would normally. Okay, fortunately we got an Aurora outside, so that's gonna keep us all from going crazy. So we need to now focus only on the infections. These guys are... These guys might get infections, but a lot of them were not gunshot wounds, so I think... Uh, I mean, a lot of them are bad. Fortunately, we've kept, kept it mostly to the doctors doing the doctoring. Dr. House. We want Dr. House actually to get... Oh, no, he's... Oh, no, he didn't get an infection. It would be really nice if there were just a screen that showed you where all the infections are. We've got two minor... We might lose Balin. We lost Gimli before, too. Did we manage to save Octopus? Octopus is lying... I thought I told you to bring him in. <laughs> Not strip him. Okay, we're gonna bring in the rest of them, hopefully. Okay, I've just created one new stockpile zone since there's a lot of crap to bring in, and I want them to bring in that crap. Uh, and it doesn't really matter to me if the shooting range is not as beautiful as it could be. In the meantime, we have enough wood to remake all of these traps. Ooh, that might be the end for us. Wow. Wowzers. Um... <laughs> at this point, I simply do not know what to say. We have all these dead bodies over here, but I will not have time to... We have two and a half days before the psychic ship starts driving us all insane. And then there will be m a massive, massive number of centipedes. So we need to focus on getting all of our security up now. We're going to have to deal with scythers and centipedes. But they're going to have a lot of ridiculous... We have a smoke leaf binge. Let's stop the... And is what is happening now? Oh, we also lost all of our power because they destroyed all of our power. I forgot about that. Um... Hmm. <laughs> I, I simply do not know what to do with this. At this point, I, I think we are against all odds. Uh, you know what? Work on the solar generator because we don't want to... Well, you know what? Screw it. Maybe an infestation will save us at this point. We will have enough guns, but I really don't think it's going to make a difference. 
The main thing is that if they ever come into contact with us, we're going to have so many more medical problems that we'll all go insane. Uh, you won't want to... No, you won't want to go over there, man. Uh, stay... Well, actually, I think it's only if they start deconstructing the psychic ship. If not, then I will just die right now, and that will be my own blunder. But they should not deconstruct or bother this unless if I instruct them to. Um... You know what? Screw it. We're gonna take some triage at this point, or we're we're gonna we're gonna take some losses. Uh, fuck. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I do not. <laughs> I am scared. I'm really scared. Honestly, I am very very terrified. I'm just going to shrink this zone because I don't want them to even be near this thing at all in general. Uh. I'm thinking I should move my concentration away from- Wow, that is a lot of dead bodies. Alright, let's get armor. Where is armor? We- <laughs> Ideally, we want to finish off this sandstone wall. Burn those bodies. I'm just gonna, at this point, let the dead healing automate itself. We'll, we'll end up losing a couple colonists, but it's more important, I think, at this point, that I arm up every single colonist and get these traps made again, especially any sandstone or granite traps on the outside, because those ones are gonna- and we have 305 sandstone now. Jesus. Uh, those are gonna be the most armor-penetrating ones, though, and those will be the most useful ones against scythers and centipedes. So I guess it's just massive preparation till then. Let's also haul all that shit back so that we have more steel. We have 2103 steel, though, so we should be fine on that end. In case if for some godforsaken reason we do survive all of this. Wow, look at all of them. That is at least like a hundred. Mostly they killed each other. We did hardly any of the work. I'm I'm glad when I see all the guns, but I'm not glad when I know they're all going to be gone in a couple days because we won't be able to do anything with them. Uh, mainly because we don't have any armor. <laughs> we can't. We can't possibly do anything without any armor. Let's just switch this to making... I think he was making one great bow, but let's just make plate armor. <laughs> anything we can get at this point. Oh, and we need to research something. Uh... It does not make much of a difference at this point. Maybe we can get into space before time runs out. Let's get shield belts, because that's... In general, if we do, for some godforsaken reason, survive, that will be the next thing. You know, it's really not that many bad... Not that many colonists infected at this point. Let's just check out. Uh, this guy's probably gonna die. He's got Dr. House tending to him, but we can't take off the right leg because we don't have any medicine. Oh, wait, no, we do have seven medicine left. Okay, at this point, I honestly might just resort to cutting off his leg because it's not that big a deal. Uh, I know that sounds kind of morbid, but... Dr. House, why don't you just, uh... Amputate that right leg. Let's go in here. Glitter World Medicine. He's not even gonna have any, but it's fine. Uh, let's just see tinned quality really quick. Don't worry about the human fists. Days minor five, that's fine. Okay, we're operating on Cook 3 and Cutter 3 because both of their limbs look like they're going to need to come off if we want them to survive. So I'm just going to try to keep as much medicine as we can. Hopefully they'll not screw up the operations. And then Tattered... Well, they should take care of that on their own, the Tattered Apparel, as long as we can make enough of it. And we have another colonist here. He was going to destroy the geothermal generator with the tantrum, so I needed to stop it. That would certainly not have been great. Uh, I should eventually start working on the power. We're, somehow we barely have power. I don't even know how. And failed catastrophically while performing on Cook 3. That is, well, there's not much we can do about that. Death in 18 hours. Do where is that doctor? You're going to try it again, man. <laughs> and, ah, God. Okay, more micromanaging, and then somehow we'll manage to worry about that psychic ship in a second. And Dr. Phil failed catastrophically while performing an operation on Cook three, on Cutter 3. So now both of our surgeries have failed, so we're going to just tend to them really quick. We'll see if we can save them, but otherwise they're just dead. They were dead men walking anyway, though. Uh, this guy's got a second left 
toe was destroyed and he might die from that. Uh, really? I would do just like bite a rag or something. Come on. Uh, more major infection. You should be fine from that one. And this guy will actually pull through, Balin. Wow, surprise, Balin was uh, not looking so good before. WebMD is going in an insulting spree. No, that's not good. Never let somebody go on an insulting spree in the medical ward. That is usually not great. Medical emergency. We, these guys can just die at this point. Um, I am honestly, I am sick of their bullshit. Fortunately, they are <laughs> recreating all the traps really quickly, though. And let's get armor to burn some of those bodies. <laughs> He's, like, insulting him while he performs an operation. We're going to try that again. We're going to try it until we get it right. Are you going to have try try to have Doctor Five operate him because he's got seven medical, so he's way better at this. Hopefully, he will pull through and wear more of this. Colonist needs rescue. Ah, jeez, come on. Well, this guy gave up on the colony, so fuck him. Uh, you can rescue him. No, you went into a daze. The low psychic drone is really not helping anything. That's just over everybody, and- oh, whoops, they left a corpse on the table. Uh, okay, gotta put that away. Uh, yeah. The armor the farmer has gone into a murderous rage with his Molotov cocktails in hand, so we're gonna need to have somebody else do that job now, I'm presuming. And we got a death- ah, oh, shit, on Minor 10- wait, why did Minor 10 die? I don't even know why Minor 10 died. Did he die of blood loss? Oh shit, he must have died of blood I was so focused on the operations. Did they manage to- did they actually manage to- Oh good, they did manage to cut off one of the legs. Okay, great. Uh, actually, Dr. Phil, I don't want him doing it. I want this guy doing it. Uh, more operations. Okay, at this point, my ha about half of my colony is in a daze because of just the psychic drone in the air, combined with the lack of smoke leaf that's remaining, combined with the power outages, combined with everything else, so I don't think we're going to be able to get up a very good defense in a couple of days. <laughs> uh, on top of all of that, there is a dead body in the morgue, and... Uh... Yeah, we are just... We're kind of stretched a little thin right here, so I don't think we're going to be able to get these prisoners, <laughs> at least. Um, another tantrum. The tantrums are particularly annoying because they destroy all the expensive stuff that you've worked so hard to achieve. And my last remaining colonists who are sane are having to beat the crap out of everybody else. Uh, arresting sometimes works, though arresting, they often fight back. So that's not really helpful because sometimes the people who are trying to help uh, end up getting killed. Let's just have you equip these Molotov cocktails. Cleaner 4. I will somehow remember that Cleaner 4 has the Molotov cocktails equipped. And he will burn the rest of the dead bodies right now. We have them mostly covered, so I think we're fine. Go in there and burn those bodies. They can always put out a fire. We'll try to get the power restored, and then after that, I'm really just like... Most of my builders have managed to stay sane somehow. I guess because they haven't been inside, and it's crazy inside. So they're going to finish off the traps, and then maybe, just maybe, that will give us defenses against the psychic ship. I should also build IEDs all around the psychic ship, or just anything that could keep me safe from it, because honestly, we have a couple days to prepare for it being in front of us, so I don't know why I didn't think of this before this. But we can start to move these things over there. Can we displace? Yes, we can reinstall this thing. We'll put IEDs all around this pass, build a wall up here, and just try to incentivize them to come through here as much as possible. Okay, we don't want to build too close to the psychic ship because then it does get activated. So we're just going to put a few IEDs along this pathway so that hopefully they'll trip over them as they come through. And just in case, if they do end up going the other way, I'm going to put a few here. And in fact, this wall is way too close. This is not going to be safe. Let's just delete that altogether. And we'll just put IEDs along here just in case. We're going to have to get Crafter... We're going to have to make sure that Crafter 3 doesn't go insane because he's the only one who can actually 
get started on IEDs. And we also don't have power, so we need the builders to do that, too. Do we have any more? We could probably reinstall some of these IEDs around, though. I think they might have had one over here. Let's, uh, let's put that in the right spot. Okay, I'm having cleaner forge burning the remaining dead bodies. Since we have stone walls around everything, I think that it'll be fine. No, don't go over there. Don't beat that fire out. Oh, yeah, I gotta undesignate this as home zone. Otherwise, they will all go crazy. Clear home zone over here. And then we'll bring in the rest of the dead bodies. Okay, at this point, almost all of our doctors have gone insane, are downed, or are just in really, really bad condition. So we're... This guy's trying to tend to Balin, too. Who else is tending to Balin? Don't I have somebody else tending to Balin? Okay, WebMD is going out. Dr. House, you're there. Okay, you know what? You can just do it without any medicine. That's fine. Because now they're going out into the fields because they want to pick up herbal medicine. Because we actually did manage to find some herbal medicine. But we haven't had a chance to haul it back yet. So just heal him. Okay, fortunately, we barely managed to save the guys that we had to operate on. Uh, I lost a couple more just through, like, random... I think it might have been blood loss, but in total, we're probably around, like, 88 now. So, you know, I think that's pretty much the last of the death of the death tolls on us here. And I've had a couple psychite binges, but I think there's only one thing of psychite. We might want to watch that wake up, too, though. And another daze. Just pretty much everybody's going insane, except somehow most of my builders have managed to stay all right. Um, for now, for them, it's just prioritizing the rest of this. And then I'm going to have to be strategic about when these things come out, because I might want to set them on fire. But honestly, I think the IEDs are going to be a better bet here. And I think they will just come straight for us, so I'm, I'm going to have to put a lot of eggs in one basket right here. Uh... <laughs> Just about all my eggs in one basket. Just about all my eggs in one basket. Because I don't really see many alternatives of getting around this. Uh, we'll, we'll get our big trap wall. We'll get a couple more in this hallway right here. But there's going to be a lot of centipedes and scythers. Uh, okay, colonist needs rescue. Alright. Once again, I'm just going to try to... Mm, rescue cook six. Extreme break risk times 12. Colonist needs rescue again because another person went on a murderous rage. Tat they should take care of Tattered Apparel themselves. Colonist, it's fine if you have a tantrum right there. Medical emergency. Why do you have a medical emergency? Malnutrition extreme because nobody has time to feed you. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Um, why don't you... No food. No food! Oh, because they don't actually see any nutrient paste. Me Jesus Christ. Oh, so they've been using the other meal types to feed down pe You know what? I'm going to allow corn then for a second because they were doing this. Just to simplify this. So they were feeding corn to the downed. Farmer 4, can you... Not assigned to doctoring. Okay. I will get somebody on him. Nope, I was wrong. Uh... Their food restriction does not do that. For some reason, it was just conflicting with when they were doctoring. Yeah, I'm going to unassign corn again. Because then on top of everything else, we will also have... Do not consume that corn. Do not consume that corn. Do not... Con Why are you... Oh, you're bringing the rice to the hopper. Do not consume corn. Because corn will make you sick on top of everything else. And then I will lose my literal mind... Okay, let's continue, continue to have that, I honestly, I don't want to get any more triage, so let's just have them have tantrums in the hallways, it's fine, our builders are doing great. Greaser, no, don't give up yet. There's still so much more to come. There's still so much more goodness to come. Yeah, I had to create a new zone called Corpses, because I've had them hauling back corpses, and as they do it, they are getting themselves set on fire, so I'm just gonna not allow them to ever go in there ever again. They'll bring back the corpses nearby, and I can always just switch up the zones later on. And we got- this is it? Really? That's a- not a bad- that's not a bad event. I'm just surprised that we haven't had anything good happen in a few days. We're having a tantrum again. Well, you're having a tantrum out in the field, so that's really not such a big deal. Um, colonist needs rescue. Uh, Dr. Phil is down. My doctors have really been giving up on the colony. Which isn't a good sign, because they make a lot of money. 
Uh, let's see, exhaustion. Well, no real surprise. I'm just look at the, all the colorful names. They are so mental breaky right now. But fortunately, we're starting it closer to the psychic ship. In fact, don't build there. I want to minimize having to be right next to this thing. Fortunately, we do have a lot of high explosive shells at this point, though, so we can build IEDs nearby this thing. I'm going to just get to work building those things right now, because honestly, if anything is going to save me, it's not so much the spike traps, it's more just the IEDs. We need high explosive shells. We've already got ten. We got, got like ten or eleven here. You're killing me. You're killing me, Rimworld. We got to uh, Okay, we need to get them off of there. We will figure this out. And we got a heat wave on top of everything else. I think we have enough temperature control in here too, and I do actually have a cooler around here in case if we have to do even more temperature control. So I'm going to try to keep it everything at 70 degrees. Yes, I do have heaters in here. I want to just keep everything leveled off at 70 degrees as much as possible. If need be, we can put in more coolers, but... Ooh, what is that sound? That's a weird sound. It sounds mechanical. Okay. Fortunately, though, we got the power back online. There are fewer mental breaks. We should still be making smoke leaf joints now, so they will get more of that. I don't even know why we... You know what? These things are fine if... If it's like one thing of Yayo, nobody's gonna get addicted. The only one I would fear would be Luciferium. Um, outdoors 98 degrees Fahrenheit. Actually, we are pretty well insulated. That's good. Freezers hold... Eh, that's a little hot for the freezer. We're gonna wanna replace this with an auto door. Uh, you know what? No, I'm gonna... I'm gonna fuck that up. So <laughs> I don't know. It's probably because everybody's been going in and out of there. They have enough? Really? That's insane. Okay, tantrum on cutter nine. As long as you are in a dangerous spot, okay, then you are getting punched. Um, all right. You know what? As long as they make a good number of these IEDs and have a good number of granite traps in place, as well as maybe some in this hallway here, I think we should be. I don't want to jinx it, but we should be okay for this raid. I'm gonna make more out of granite and sandstone as we go now. But, I don't know, I'll keep my fingers crossed. Hope it all works out for the best. Okay, my other major fears are now we have a solar flare, which is going to mess up our devices. We're running out of power, the freezer is getting warmer, so I'm just going to not allow them to use the freezer for a day. It's going to get warmer in here. And it's- that's very, very bad for obvious reasons because we may get an infestation because we've been banking on there not being infestation there. If we do get an infestation, we're probably all dead, but I'll just, like, throw a Molotov into the place. If we can somehow get a Molotov. Or <laughs> maybe I'll just station some Molotov cocktails at the doorstep. Uh, where do we even have them anymore? This entire playthrough has just become chaos in- in mere moments. We got somebody going berserk. You know what? Fortunately, they're canceling out their problems. I'm somehow not going to remember that Cleaner 4 has the Molotov cocktails. Um, yeah, we're gonna want to burn the rest of those bodies once he wins this fight. <laughs> please, no one die. Please, please, please. Okay, great. Then after that... No, Research 3, you're crazy. Farmer 3, why don't you grab him? Now you run over here, burn the last of the bodies. I think that's about it. Wow, they did a fantastic job getting rid of all of the dead bodies in a gif. Uh, gonna just bank on no infestation, but if there is one... I don't know, I guess we lose. <laughs> I'll throw them out, have cocktail in there to cook them. But I think they'll get out before we have time for that. Um... Ooh, it's getting hotter. It's getting hotter. Okay. Berserk Cody. Cody is one of our... I knew these guys would be more trouble than they were worth. Okay. Okay. Come on. Make this work. Make this work. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this. Okay, the solar flare may very well kill us, because it's not only- I mean, we're generating power, it's just that everything that's electrical is not working, so we're gonna use the time to hopefully just blast off our power in the right direction. Uh, in the meantime, just so that we have some chance at surviving, I don't want to burn all the food, but if we get an infestation, we don't really have many options. We'll have to take out this thing and then run away and hopefully 
match these two threats up against each other and somehow just pray that we survive because there's n I think the infest the infestation is potentially scarier than a psychic ship. <laughs> it's, it's like we're just somehow surviving between two planets colliding right now. Days on Cutter 2, that's quite fine. Go juice binge, we have only two go juice, so I doubt that he'll be able to do anything about it. This guy is on the ground, let's rescue him. Was this the guy with the... No, this guy's stoned on smoke leaf. Um... Uh, I mean, a beautiful weekend away from electricity, but at this point... Tattered a pip tantrum ballin'. I've just started ignoring tantrums now because I do have enough components for- Okay, great, the solar flare is ending, so we won't die from an infestation. Let's get this room back to a better temperature because right now it's 48 degrees Fahrenheit. This thing is asking to be infested. Colonist needs rescue, let's rescue him. Where's Balin? I want to keep an eye on him. Alright, I will be back in a second when I take care of more bullshit. Okay, we've got an outdoor temperature of 107 degrees Fahrenheit. The psychic drone increases to a higher level in 0.3 days. So I think what we're going to do at this point, because I don't want all of my colonists to go crazy. Like, that would be worse. Look at how many people are in triage. We have about half the colony. Yeah, it's going to get bad right now. So I think as soon as Builder 9 finishes this last IED, I might just send somebody with a Molotov to the psychic ship because honestly I don't care for my colonists all going this and quite this insane let's go to cleaner cleaner four <laughs> cleaner four we're ready I I don't know what else to do because we're just not we don't have anything else left um every Almost everyone is injured, and I need to get rid of this one thing because everybody's just going mad at this point. I'm not going to have any colony left to deal with in, like, very shortly. Like, very, very shortly, they're all going to go insane from this. So we need to stop this before it happens. And we're also getting a corpse. Ah, uh, he's going to take out a corpse, too. And an overdose on <laughs> two coaches. Really? Okay, at this point, just fucking throw a Molotov at that bullshit. Get this over with. Okay, I'm bringing everybody back inside, and I'm just gonna give them a little bit of time to get back inside. In the meantime, we'll bring this corpse back to the grave. Aragorn, you can... no. No empty configurable spot to... there's a sarcophagus right there. Come on. Ah, jeez. No, you know what? Somebody else probably already reserved it. Let's give this to... No, actually, that would have to be to a living one. At this point... Just throw the goddamn Molotov, please. We need to get this thing out of here. Okay, Cleaner 4 is in a great mood, so I'm just gonna have him stand here while I prepare any last things that I could feasibly see as defending us. I don't really know what else we could do at this point. I'm just gonna give everybody assault rifles, and we finished the sh- Well, it's not even really gonna make a difference at this point. I'm just gonna give as many people, uh, assault rifles as I can. Not that I think it's gonna make a difference against these scythers, uh, against them, all the mechanoid weapons, because they're just so goddamn good. Like, honestly, even SMGs and everything else, we're all just gonna get mowed down because of our bullshit. The only thing that could potentially save us at this point would be, uh, like, more IEDs. Like I said, spam beats spam. So, <laughs> that could work. But let's just try to give everybody in the colony an SMG, because if this is going to be our last fight, I want it to be a good one, you know? Okay, the drone is now intensifying. I need to throw... The Molotov cocktail. I don't even think that we have more time to pick up any of the ranged weapons. I'm just gonna have to leave at what we have. Now, I think... In this situation, Cleaner 4, you get right back there. In this situation, the best thing that I can do is to just set the surrounding forest on fire. I may have to sacrifice Cleaner 4. Or something. Run him through the IEDs. As many IEDs as we have at this moment. Can we possibly make one more IED? If I have, if I somehow have one of the builders go back out there in time. No, we need more materials. Honestly, at this point, I'm not even gonna... Mm, how much is that psychic drone worth? It's 
going to intensify in a second. It should be now. Okay, moderate psychic drone at negative 22. We may have a little bit more time to get one last set of IEDs out, and that might be enough to save us. But I'm honestly quite worried. Okay, Crafter 3 is the only one who can craft... Uh... Exp high ins explosive shells, so I'm just gonna have him make as many of these as he can. We'll get the builders to get out a last few IEDs around the psychic ship as we get ready, because it's right now at a negative 22 debuff. Um, a lot of people are idle, but that might actually be okay, because then they might not go as crazy as they would, and I don't really have a lot of production in mind. I'll give them a little bit more time, because I want to maximize our chances of surviving this, but this could be our finest hours. Okay, we're now setting up the last few IEDs. A couple more deaths have happened. Not really... Not really anything else, but just the fact that I'm so friggin' focused on... Malnutri... Jeez. Oh, yeah, like, simple things like that that we're losing out to now. At this point, I really just want to get this psychic ship over with. Dr. Phil, really? Malnutrition? What the fuck? What is going on? Are they not giving people... Nutrient base? This has never happened before. It might just be that there's nobody left to do the doctoring. I can't believe that that happened. Okay, at this point, let's just say fuck it. I want to know if this thing is going to kill me. I'm so preoccupied with this thing, so let's just go in. Cleaner four! Cleaner four! Get out of bed, cleaner four! Everybody else get back inside. Okay, everybody else is going back inside of the house, and Cleaner 4 is going to throw a Molotov cocktail at the psychic ship. Which should end the psychic drone, which should, generally speaking, make everybody- Okay, great, there is a party! Great, good job, Bob the Builder. Bob the Builder is throwing a party, where is he? Great, he's in one of the most desirable looking rooms. Let's have a- <laughs> We're all gonna die party. Okay, is everybody back inside the house? Almost everybody is back there. Now, we just need to set it off so that they will be aggroed in this direction, because it would be a major disappointment if this does not work out. Is that some... Yeah, Dr. Phil just died in the middle of a field. Jesus Christ. At this point, just... Th I'm gonna throw Molotovs around it first, so that we can hopefully set a few of them on fire in some way before. Let's get a few more going here. Yes, good. Good job, Cleaner 4. you the man. Alright, get over there. Uh, set the other forest on fire just in case. Why are you starving at this moment? I need that auto door done. I am sorry. Okay, let's make that auto Okay, Builder 7. Good job, Builder 7. We don't want to have an- well, at the same time, we may need an infestation at the last second if it doesn't work out. Okay, good. The oil is spilling out everywhere. Good. Let's- We don't want to get the boom ra uh, boom lopes. But, eh. Get a couple more. Wouldn't it be weird if you had fuel in your back? Okay, let's go to the hunter. WebMD, you beat the shit out of him. Okay. Now at this- why is everyone else over here? Oh, they're all beating the fire out. Why are they beating the fire out? Jesus Christ, I told you all to stay in the house. Maybe that's- somehow takes priority over it? That's weird. Okay, everyone is getting drafted. Everyone go back home. Okay, cleaner four. And we are gonna undesignate- if somehow that is the home zone, we have to undesignate it. Okay, as soon as everybody gets out of here, insulting spree on cry cryo miner, you're just gonna die, man. At this point, I don't have time for your bullshit. He's cryo miner is dead. If you set off cleaner four, I'm gonna fucking set you on fire, man. This is the worst possible. Okay, we need them to hit the IEDs, so I'm gonna just do this now. Cryo miner, you're the bait man. Can we do? Can we do this? Can we do this? Cryo Miner, I'm actually killing him right now by doing this. Okay, run. Infin- Okay, for God's sake, get the fuck out of there. For God's sake, I told you to stop cleaning. Okay, let's go back in. 
For God's sake, why are you even out here? When I told you to stay restricted to the home zone, even if there's a goddamn fire- Okay, let's see them hit the I- Don't know, they're walking around the IED. The first uh, human vacuum, get the fuck out of there. Okay, get the hell out of there, man. Okay, great well, they Ah, uh, that did nothing. That did far less than I wanted it to. Oh, we might all be dead now. There's not even really much point of having them all stand in here and die. I gotta find some large open space where they can all actually shoot them. Oh man, they just hit another IED and it did nothing. Holy crap. Okay, everybody get back in the base. They are gonna come through the front entrance now. Oh no. Okay, everybody's getting drafted. We're all gonna die like, uh... Together. Somehow. I don't... If for some godforsaken reason we may get through this. Everybody stand at the back, at the very, very back of the base. Look at all of them! And they'd retreat for nothing. Okay, they're gonna have to encounter all of the crazy people as they go through the base at this point. Everybody stand at the back, some of you will go crazy, many of you will die. This is Custer's last stand. Okay, let's make use of these hallways. It's gonna be like Davy Crockett at the Alamo, man. Okay, uh, somehow that's going to work. Let's just try to get them into some semblance of a formation. Christ, they're gonna destroy everything. Death, death, death. Uh... Maybe we can gang up on the ones that are in here, actually. You know what? I don't- I don't like to be a, a prude, but... Like, if they are so distracted by the rest of our base... I may as well just accept, like, 20 deaths if it means that I'll have 20 super powerful mechanoid... ...enforced colonists in the end. Come on, defend your home! Defend your home! Defend your home! Oh yeah, they're all just gonna die and go crazy at this point. Well, we saw this one coming. I don't think there's anything left. They didn't step over enough of the traps. Traps. The IEDs didn't do much. Okay, now they're all getting set on fire. Everybody run back. Ah. Uh... Fuck it, I'm not pausing. I'm just gonna go through this like a man. So much death. So <laughs> much death. Jesus, everybody get to the back. Somehow maybe they'll set themselves on fire and get out of here. Why would you have a corpus obsession at a time like this? This is just becoming laughable. Do they even take damage from fire? Inferno- okay, they're all friendly firing themselves to death or something now. But there's still enough of them ominously walking through the halls. Wow. Wowzers. I wonder if we stand a chance. I just want to know... Will we stand a chance if we fight one? Everybody has bows. No. Throw yourselves at them! Ah, oh God. Just at this point, it doesn't even matter. Throw yourselves at them. No, stand in this room, not that one. God damn it. There's too many of them, so they can't even fire in one single line. Wow, they're trying to increase the surface area. Wow. I'm just like... Wow. Who will be the last one to survive? Let's find out. Why would you have a murderous rage at a time like this? Death, death, death everywhere. Ah. How much wealth did we get up to? Alright, that was not that bad. <laughs> well, geez. Well, you know what? At least we killed most of the Lancers in there. The uh, centipedes, though, are still most of the Lancers. When does it end? When are we going to get the Man in Black event? I want to know. I want to know. Maybe we could kill one of them? Revenge kill. Revenge kill. 
Oh, wow, look at how hot it is in here. Jeez. These things can make it through anything. Who is who is left? There's a few left, right? Hauler 6, still alive and well in the infirmary. They haven't been in there yet. Hauler 7, dying like brethren. Wow. So beautiful and so full of carnage. And we didn't even manage to destroy the psychic ship. Wow. The man in black should be able to save us, though. <laughs> I don't think he was meant for colony sizes this large. We still have a lot of cotton. Someone will find this one day. All right. Pro hacker tip. If you want to uh, get rid of these notifications, you use right click. But, uh... I think that's a hundred notifications. Tattered apparel is not really something I'm worried about at this point. Okay. Uh, let's recap. So we did the hundred man colony. There's no way, there's no way that anybody could survive that. I don't even know what you would do against that. Surround it with granite traps for the armor piercing potential. I think it's really the armor piercing that doesn't, that's prevented these things from getting killed, but... Damn. Oh, man, and the rain is gonna put out all the fire. No, boo, you get the fuck out of here, man. You just save your... Just get on a caravan, just go. Go somewhere else. For Christ's sake. Now, let's see if one of these things actually manages to get itself killed on one of these. Injured? Nah, they're turning back, so they aren't even gonna go over the traps. Did we kill any centipedes? We killed a bunch of lancers, but... I don't even think I see any... Maybe the mad alpaca will avenge us? Nope, that's it. Alright, well, cut a little short, but, uh... I really enjoyed this play- I enjoyed this playthrough because I've never done something on this scale. The next one will definitely not be on such a big scale. Uh... Let's go over what went right, what went wrong. What went right was... the initial plan. I think we had enough to get us through that first week. I think, uh... What also went right... Uh, I would say that the trap spam was good. I would say... Positioning and getting those two groups of raiders to fight each other went fairly well. I don't think it went perfectly, but I think it went fairly well. And about as well as I could have imagined it would. I'd say... Power was a bit of a struggle. I think... Honestly, I don't want to play with no passions ever again. Because it's just... It takes so long for them to get certain technologies. And I, I don't think that the game's balance was ever meant to be played this way. So I think it prevents a lot of things that should happen from happening. Uh, I think it was cool to see raids that big. But honestly, if you see like 50 of them left retreating... I'm, look at the muffalo. Wow, the muffalo are going to avenge me. <laughs> see, they're up in the top, in the top left corner. These muffalo are like defending the remains of the colony. Do they stand a chance? I don't think they stand a chance. Um, it's hard to specify exactly which traps you want to defend against. Or, like, which events. Like a siege. I didn't expect a siege, but they have insane range on that siege. They were, like, over here, shooting mortars at us. I probably could have done something with these. Honestly, I just completely forgot about these things. Maybe we could have shelled it somehow? I don't know. That, prob that might have actually worked, come to think of it. What, did I have 10 shells? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that would have worked. Come to think of it, that actually would have been fantastic. But I do not use mortars yet, so... That would have been insane. But honestly, seeing what the IEDs to them... They walked through, like, four IEDs. And it killed, like, three of them. Thank you for your sacrifice, Cleaner 4. You did well. Um, honestly, I think any amount of trap creation would not really have helped us. Because there's still... How many goddamn centipedes? There's still 16 centipedes just fucking up the base now. I think I need a, a better answer to centipedes. I, I, I think that was really one of the things that went wrong. Better answer to centipedes. I think that we handled a lot of the, I don't know, the bullshit well. I think if we had made a prison, it might have made it slightly better. But what good is a few more colonists going to do to us? I think one, one major problem is just the fact that we had so many colonists, and there was no way I could have ever, even if I had armed them all up, even if we had, like, top technology and everything else, 
I don't think there's much we could do against raids that large to prevent us from losing anyone. I'm glad that we made it as long as we did with a lot of people, but I think that the game might be better suited to smaller numbers of colonists with more economic advantages. So I think that kind of leads me into my next playthrough. The next one that I'm thinking of doing is either like <laughs> organ harvesting or um, like a smoke leaf industry because those both would be really profitable with not that many colonists and I definitely want to do more specialized. We got cargo pods in the other colonies. So Randy still does do events on other colonies when you have that. Kind of crazy. Anyway, this has been super fun. I think it was fun for an idea. I don't think that the game was meant for this. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, expect that. I want to do uh, more just absurd challenges like this. Another one I've been trying to think of is Kenshi without limbs uh, or Kenshi without arms or something like that. I think those challenges look super fun. So see something like that coming up in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.